Assalamualaikum and greetings. My name is Nur Idina Binti Muhammad Syahid and I will present about the phytoremediation of removing heavy metals in the wastewater sludge using Colocasia esculenta black magic tarot. Background of study. Municipal sewage sludge is defined as a sewage sludge from the municipal wastewater treatment process, currently a serious worldwide environmental threat due to heavy metal content variability. The presence of heavy metals in sewage sludge pose significant problems including environmental contamination, groundwater pollution and bioaccumulation in food chains when applied in agricultural land if it is not properly treated before disposing. Heavy metals in sewage sludge have to be removed utilizing a wide array of remediation procedures which involves physical, chemical or biological treatment. In this study, biological treatment which is phytoremediation is utilized. Phytoremediation is an in-situ remediation method in which the ability of plants is used to assimilate or detoxify metal and organic chemicals from water, soil and air. Problem statement. The seaweed sludge constantly poses several threats if it is not properly treated before disposing, including soil, surface and groundwater contamination, threats to health, risks and ecosystem. The challenge posed by heavy metal contamination in sewage sludge is that conventional stabilization and treatment methods are insufficient in effectively resolving the issue. This creates a need to explore and develop alternative and sustainable approaches like phytoremediation to efficiently and safely remove heavy metals from sewage sludge. Therefore, in this study, the phytoremediation on her removing heavy metals from sewage sludge is further investigated to determine the effectiveness of this treatment method since it offers cost-effective and feasibility solution. However, limitations from previous study on phytoremediation includes plant species selection, which often involves the selection of specific plant species for their ability to accumulate or degrade pollutant and long-term studies are needed. The significant studies is to determine a more environmental friendly and minimal cost method since the available treatment method of removing heavy metals in sewage sludge poses several limitations. In this study, the phytoremediation conducted because it is known for its economic viability and easily operated technology. These studies also demonstrate the ability of certain plant species to uptake and accumulate heavy metals, reducing the concentration in the contaminated area. In this study, the effectiveness of Colocasia esculenta on its phytoremediation potential of removing heavy metals from sewage sludge is determined. Moreover, by investigating plant species, metal uptake mechanisms, and optimization strategies, these studies contribute to the development of efficient phytoremediation techniques for heavy metal removal from sewage sludge. There are three main objectives of this study, which is to determine the composition of heavy metals present in the soil and wastewater sewage sludge. Second, to determine the accumulation amount of heavy metals in the plant components of Colocasia esculenta from different percentage of sludge medium. And third is to determine the removal efficiency of heavy metals by Colocasia esculenta. Literature review. Seaweed sludge is a byproduct of wastewater treatment plant operations and is produced worldwide. Everyday activities in households can also introduce heavy metals into municipal sludge, especially the use of household cleaners, detergents, cosmetic, and personal care products that contain heavy metal traces. Municipal sludge was rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium nutrients was found to contain heavy metals comprising of zinc, manganese, copper, chromium, lead, nickel, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. Phytoremediation is defined as an ecological remediation technology that relies primarily on plants. Phytoremediation offers advantages such as economically feasible, environmentally friendly, can be applied on large scale and enhance soil fertility. Previous study of plant species used for phytoremediation. Searching for effective hyperaccumulators is a key and most straightforward strategy for successful phytoremediation of heavy metals. A list of some which show high capacity of heavy metal accumulation is given in Table 1. Some of the hyperaccumulator species, including Idiocaris acupillaris and Helianthus anus. In this study, Colocasia esculenta has recorded a high maximum concentration of lead in its shoots, as much as 1,121 mg per kilogram. Colocasia esculenta black magic taro is proposed for the phytoremediation due to its ability to accumulate and tolerate high levels of heavy metals, high biomass production, and adaptability to different environments and fast growth and harvesting. According to a study by Shafiqul Islam 2016, it is claimed that Colocasia esculenta is a hyperaccumulator plant species since it has a translocation factor, Tf, greater than 1. A greater Tf value suggests that the plant can effectively translocate and accumulate heavy metals in the above ground parts, which can be beneficial for remediation purposes. Methodology for the study. The method and activities involved consist of soil and sludge for growth medium and the plants itself. The first step is to conduct soil characterization by texture method to analyze the type of soil used for the growth medium. Next is the sludge collection at College Mawa Wastewater Treatment Plant was conducted. 
After that, the digestion method of salt and sludge were conducted using wet digestion, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid with a 3 and 1 ratio. Lastly, the heavy metal analysis using ICPOES were conducted and the data were analyzed. For cultivating the plant, the first step was harvesting 25 Colocasia esquinta from comlets and let for 30 days for growing. After it reached a mature growth, the Colocasia esquinta were cultivated in the mixed soil and sludge medium, which consists of control A, 100% soil, medium B, 25% sludge, 75% soil, medium C, 50% sludge, 50% soil, medium C, 75% sludge, 25% soil, and medium E, 100% sludge. The harvested plants in the mixed medium were left for 30 days to evaluate the accumulation of heavy metals into the plant components. The digestion method of plant components and the mixed soil and sludge medium were conducted using wet digestion nitric acid and hydrochloric acid with a 3 and 1 ratio. Lastly, the heavy metal analysis using ICPOES were conducted and the data were analyzed. The first thing we discovered in the discussion is the soil texture. Soil texture referring to the relative proportions of sand, seal and clay particles, which can affect heavy metal retention and movement. The type of soil used is sandy clay loam. It has the highest sand percentage followed by clay and silt. This soil is used because sandy clay loam soils have a moderate to high capacity of retaining heavy metals due to their mixture of particle sizes. Sandy clay loam soils have a balanced permeability allowing for both drainage and water retention. This can help prevent excessive leaching of heavy metals. Besides, sandy clay loam soils can have a neutral to slightly acidic pH, which can influence heavy metal solubility and availability, according to Mokrani 2022. Based on the first objective, which is to study the heavy metals composition in soil and seaweed sludge, several heavy metals have been analyzed. Based on the figure, copper, chromium and zinc was found in the sample, which resulted 0.21 mg per kg, 0.06 mg per kg and 6.02 mg per kg respectively. Copper and zinc was found in the seaweed sludge sample, which resulted in 1.26 mg per kg for copper and 71.50 mg per kg for zinc. Nickel and lead are not detected in both samples since the value is below detection limit. According to Mokrani 2022, zinc was found higher in sludge than copper because zinc is often found in various household products such as cosmetic, sunscreen, batteries and certain medications than copper. Besides, according to Bifa 2020, zinc tends to form more soluble compounds allowing it to be more easily transported and accumulate in the sludge. Copper may have a higher tendency to remain dissolved in solution or bind to other constituents in the wastewater, reducing its accumulation in sludge. Based on the second objective, the accumulation of heavy metals in plant components are determined. Based on figure, the zinc accumulation in plant components increase with the increase of sludge percentage in the growth medium. It is because when the concentration of heavy metals in the growth medium is higher, there is greater concentration gradient between the soil and plant roots. This difference in concentration drives the movement of heavy metals from areas of high concentration in the soil to areas of low concentration in the root tissues, facilitating increased uptake by plants. The highest concentration of zinc is in the compound under 100% sludge condition, which resulted in 54.14 mg per kilogram. Zinc content was significantly higher in combs for more samples, followed by petioles and leaves. The reason why zinc accumulated more in combs is because combs serve as storage organs for plants, storing nutrients, energy and other compounds. The storage organs have a higher capacity to accumulate and retain nutrients, including zinc, according to Bala Fritsch, 2020. The presence of specific metal transporters in combs or storage proteins also may enhance the accumulation of zinc. The lowest concentration of zinc occurs in the leaf pipe under the control condition, which resulted 5.104 mg per kilogram. The reason is because of the leaf function and zinc requirement. The actual zinc requirement in leaves may be lower compared to other nutrients. Some species may prioritize allocating zinc to combs, which serves as energy reserve, plant regeneration and future growth. While for copper, the highest concentration of copper are found in the comb spike under 100% sludge condition, which resulted in 0.188 mg per kilogram. The comb part has the highest copper content, followed by petioles and then the leaf pipe. Copper can only be found prevalent in combs because it is an immobile metal which may accumulate and remain confined to the combs. Besides, combs serve as storage organ for plants, storing nutrients, energy and other compounds, including copper. While the lowest concentration of copper is in the petiole part under the control condition which resulted 0.012 mg per kilogram. According to Yan et al. 2020, copper is found less in leaf and petioles because copper is not highly mobile within the plant's phloem. The tissue responsible for translocating nutrients from the combs to the other plant parts. Besides, plants have developed mechanisms to tightly regulate copper levels since copper can be toxic to plants at higher levels. 
Translocation factor. Translocation factor express the mobility of trace elements and nutrients from root stem and leaves. In this study, the translocation factor are determined by calculating concentration in leaves over concentration in combs. A TF value greater than 1 indicates that the plant is a potential translocator of chemical species. The TF values of zinc in the study range from 0 0.62 to 1.03. Several plant samples have TF exceeds than 1. While the TF values of copper range from 0 0.31 to 0 0.50, which did not exceed TF value 1. Zinc has higher TF value than copper in Colocasta esquenta, which indicates that the plant has a higher ability to translocate zinc from the combs to leaves efficiently than copper. The reason is because zinc are a mobile metal type. This means that zinc can be transported more readily from the combs to the above ground parts of the plant, including leaves and petioles. According to Yan et al. 2020, zinc ions are generally smaller in size and have a higher mobility in the plant's vascular system compared to copper ions, facilitate their movement within the plant. The TF values in the study indicate the hyperaccumulation of zinc by Colocasta ascrenta, but it is not a hyperaccumulator for copper. Removal efficiency. The removal efficiency of each heavy metal is calculated to determine the potential uptake of Colocasta ascrenta from the soil and sludge mixture. For zinc removal, Colocasta ascrenta recorded high percentage removal efficiency, which is 71.87%, compared to copper removal, which has the highest percentage removal efficiency, 59.26%. According to Tan et al. 2020, Zinc has higher removal efficiency compared to copper because it is relatively more efficiently taken out by plant roots since zinc transported in plant roots have a higher affinity and capacity for zinc ions. Copper has lower removal efficiency since copper forms stronger complexes with organic and inorganic ligands compared to zinc. This complexation reduces the mobility and availability of copper within the plant. The removal efficiency of both zinc and copper increase with the increase of percentage of sludge in the growth medium. It is because higher sludge percentage are correspondent with higher initial heavy metal concentrations, which can lead to greater driving forces for removal mechanisms, resulting in improved removing efficiency. This project is carried out in order to explore and understand more in depth about the use of phytoremediation. This project is believed to have successfully met the objectives stated in this project. Based on the study that has been carried out on the potential of Colocasta ascrenta on removing heavy metals in sewage sludge, it is proven that the sewage sludge contains several heavy metals from the municipal wastewater. This study indicates that the sewage sludge consists of high accumulation zinc and copper, which answered the first objective. Based on the second objective, the accumulation of heavy metals in plants components are determined, which both zinc and copper are mostly found more prevalent in combs, followed by petals and leaves. The study also have proven the phytoremediation potential of Colocasta ascrenta by evaluating its removal efficiency towards zinc and copper. The study showed that this plant has higher removal efficiency for zinc compared to copper, which resulted in the highest removal efficiency of zinc, 71.87% compared to copper removal, which has the highest percentage removal efficiency of 59.26%. In order to improve the limitation phase in this project, there are several recommendations to be suggested in regards for future research. The environmental conditions such as temperature, light intensity and duration, humidity and availability of water and nutrients of the plants need to be taken care of so that all the plants receive the suitable conditions for growing. Besides, plant colocasia esquenta in area which receive indirect sunlight and not exposed to hot temperature to ensure the plant stays healthy throughout the long-term study. Also, avoid the plants from exposed area because the rain can cause leaching of heavy metals from the growth medium. For ICP OES analysis, use smaller ranges of standard or perform standard addition to receive data of the below detection limits heavy metals. Regularly monitor the performance and progress of phytoremediation project through soil and plant tissue sampling are needed. This helps assess the effectiveness of the chosen plants and remediation techniques.